Yo, good time crew! Good time crew, welcome back! Okay, so, Jurassic World is coming out, Dominion! I don't know how many more of these, like, how many more of these are we going to see? So, I'm not mad, I'm just wondering. For the new generation that didn't see the old ones. Oh yeah, because we were kids when the, re the other Jurassic Park, I remember watching those. I didn't watch it, I didn't watch the original ones. I think the first one I saw was Jurassic Park 3. Yeah. Yeah. I think I saw that's that in the movie theater. Jurassic Park 2? So anyway, the new one is out. And yes. as we learned from the end of the plot of the last one, if you don't remember, the little girl and the people, Chris Pratt and Lady, they released yes. the animals to the wild and said, we're going to live among the dinosaurs. I know, which is insane, but... So I think we'll see a little bit of that here. Oh, is the little girl's probably going to be grown up, too. Or not grown up, maybe like a teenager. Let's check it out, guys, and let's see what Jurassic World Dominion has for us. And don't forget to check these links out and like and subscribe to the channel, please. Thank you. Yes. We're 81,000 strong. <laughs> right. We're going to keep reminding you. I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. Something that they could see and touch. <laughs> Creation uh -oh. is an act of sheer will. Life will find a way. We can't keep her here forever. <laughs> They find her, we're never gonna see her again. We gotta protect her, that's our job. Humans and dinosaurs can't coexist. We created an ecological disaster. <laughs> Ellie Sattler. Alan Grant. You didn't come out all... Throwback moment. Throwback moment. These people are from the old one, right? You know? I remember the guy. I don't remember her. I don't remember, remember the old ones like that. I just remember that I saw them. Well, I see the I first one. I kind of remember him. The though. first one I saw when they were new is three, but I think I went back and I think I saw him in like the first or yeah, second one, guys. Yeah, he looks familiar. Are we right? Yeah, he's in. He looks a lot different, obviously, older. Yeah. But because it's been 20 odd, some odd years. True. But uh, yeah, so throwback moment. So we're getting some of the OGs back. And uh, they probably needed their help because they realized the world was going crazy now that dinosaurs live where they are and not yeah. in some remote place. I was going to say, the idea in theory could work, but the problem is people don't know how to leave animals alone. Well, you know, like, just let them live. It's like they were trying to catch something when that one thing came out of the water. So. I know. <laughs> Maybe the animals don't need to leave them alone. Hey, Sattler. Alan Grant. Alan Grant. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? We're racing toward the extinction of our species. We not only lack dominion over nature, we're subordinate to it. Come back. I always come back. Another plane, right? Not exactly. Don't, Don't move. Bigger. Why do they always have to go bigger? So, 
And another great movie we can add to the 2022 lineup. To the 2022 lineup to our summer watching series. Yes. So we have to Ooh. see Sonic, we have to see Doctor Strange, we have to see this. Um, we have to see Batman. Batman, so that's March, April, May, June. <laughs> and the other movie that you were telling me about with The Rock. Black Adam, that comes out, I think, December or something like that. No? Oh, never mind. Yeah, that, Scratch that. That's a long way away. All right, so guys, what do you think about it? Jurassic Park back? Let me ask you. Is the series getting oversaturated? Well, it's what you said at the beginning. I mean, the different generations of mm -hmm. people. To kids, this is the first generation that they're seeing Jurassic World. It's yeah. just that we've been alive long enough to see it happen over and over again. And we all, and so we can't appreciate, and we appreciate the fact that we saw those three at the end, yeah. which is the other the other scientists from before. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I think bringing them back is the best way to bridge the audience between the kids who are like, "Ooh, dinosaurs," and us who are like, "Whoa, we remember this." In a couple of years, they're gonna do a super reboot on this thing and just start everybody over, get rid of all the cast. Bringing awesome new kids yeah. like Zendaya, Tom Holland, they're gonna be in there now. Right, but here's the thing why not? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. If I was a filmmaker, I would keep doing the same thing over and over. Just wait 10, 12 years till the new set of kids comes in. Mm -hmm. Keep they doing it. Down. They want five. Okay, so Stacey's been checking out. So, guys, let us know what you thought about Jurassic World Dominion. Is, yes. it's, is it gonna be a definite watch for you? Or are you going to have to pass on it and go see, you know, Mickey Mouse or something else, whatever else. Playing? Yeah. I know people keep saying that it's predictable. That's why they don't like it, because it's so predictable. But, I mean, you know, do you guys think that? Is it bad movie quality? What are we talking about here? Let us know in the comments, and we will see you next time. Good job, friends.